thousands of American auto workers remain on strike. Tonight marks 41 days. This is the longest American auto strike in 25 years, but progress with Ford means some are leaving the picket line. Right now, that is not the case at GM's plant in Wentzville. Yeah, in fact, that factory hasn't run since the strike hit here September 14th. Our Nathan Vickers is in Wentzville tonight, where hope remains that a deal will be coming their way, Nathan. That's right. These workers are still on strike out here. They're walking through the rain right now with their ponchos on, dealing with some of the elements. But now that Ford has reached a deal with their uh, union workers, GM workers are hoping the same kind of deal might be coming for them. After six weeks outside the gates of the Wentzville Assembly Plant, Jason Faust and other GM workers are ready to get back to their jobs. We want the company to do well and we want our families to do well and that, those two coincide. He's glad to see a tentative agreement in the works with Ford, which includes a 25% pay increase and cost of living adjustments. The devil's in the details, so there's still a lot more information we need to get out before I really make a decision, but I think GM will probably follow in line with that. UAW President Sean Fain called it a record-setting deal. Our stand-up strike has delivered. And it's allowed production to start back up almost immediately. We are calling on all Ford strikers to go back to work while we vote on our tentative agreement. I think it's a good thing for all the companies and the workers. So uh, if, uh, if it does, if we do vote it down, then we'll have to go from there. The Wentzville community is ready to see an end to the picket lines too. It's just a little quieter because of our activity with uh, uh, the folks working and shopping in the stores. Wentzville Mayor Nick Guccione says business has slowed throughout the city, though they won't know the extent of the financial impact for a few months. I'm sure that we'll be back to normal here in the near future, so I'm glad to see that things are starting to trend back. This is now the longest auto worker strike in 25 years. A long time, and I think everybody has uh, shown a lot of support. Flaus is hoping an end is in sight. I think everybody's ready to go back to work and make money for our families, make money for GM. And both GM and Stellantis have indicated that they hope to reach similar agreements in the next few days as well. Reporting live in Wentzville, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan.